What's going on guys, this is Sam and today Apple released iOS 11.4 beta 1 to developers. There's a few new features to talk about so let's go ahead and jump in. First up, messages in iCloud for the second or third time in iOS 11 is back again. This time hopefully for sure. It was in iOS 11.3 for the pretty much the entire beta cycle and then prior to public release Apple removed it in the final version so the public weren't able to get their hands on it. It is back in the iOS 11.4 beta. It appears that this will be the last time it will have to be added back. It should be launching alongside the firmware when the firmware launches in the future. When this feature launches, it's going to be extremely handy. It allows you to sync all of your messages between your iPhone, your iPad, iPod Touch, Mac, and any other Apple device, making sure that all your threads are always in sync and all of your devices are always getting the latest text messages. Because iOS 11.4 will likely be the last public version of iOS 11 prior to the launch of iOS 12 in the fall, I almost guarantee that messages in iCloud will finally ship with this firmware, but at the same time, we don't know when this firmware is launched it could be as early as next month or as late as June or July. Another feature that Apple announced at WWDC 2017 that should also finally be making its way to everyone as part of iOS 11.4 is AirPlay 2. Once again, when this launches, I think it's going to be a really quality feature. It's something that a lot of people have been looking forward to, but once again, it was announced around a year ago and it still isn't present inside of a public version of iOS 11 just yet. But I do have faith that Apple will be finally able to implement it to everyone with iOS 11.4. As a Side note, if you have two HomePod speakers and you've been looking forward to being able to pair them as a stereo pair, support for that is coming inside of iOS 11.4. It's there now, but the only way to enable it on your HomePod is by Apple releasing special beta software for the HomePod itself. So whenever the iOS 11.4 HomePod software beta launches, that is when you'll be able to start testing the stereo pairing functionality with two HomePod speakers. Shout out to 9to5Mac for figuring that out. There's one other feature in iOS 11.4 that Apple previewed ahead of today's beta release, and that is ClassKit. It's a new educational focused framework that allows third-party developers to sync all their apps and data from those applications through a new Apple app called Schoolwork. Just as developers with HomeKit can sync information from their home automation apps into the centralized Apple Home app, it's going to be the same thing with ClassKit and a new app called Schoolwork coming in iOS 11.4. While teachers and students will only be interacting with an app called Schoolwork, the new framework called ClassKit is what will make the aggregation of all the data from educational apps with ClassKit support possible. Possible. Messages in iCloud, AirPlay 2, and ClassKit slash Schoolwork are the three biggest features coming in iOS 11.4. The first two are definitely very broad. They're going to be useful for a lot of people, and the last one is more niche. Aside from those changes, I haven't been able to find anything else new in iOS 11.4 just yet. I've been using it for a couple of hours, and it feels and looks pretty much identical to me as iOS 3 did, which is not a bad thing. iOS 11.3 is great. Great performance, great battery life, and I can see those same things being true with iOS 11.4. As always, I ran a Geekbench test to see if there were any noticeable improvements. I got 4218 for the single core score and 10,054 for the multi-core score. Definitely quite a bit lower than what I was seeing on the final version of iOS 11.3, but it's only beta 1 and I can see things definitely getting better from here. Regardless, if any other changes are discovered after this video goes live on YouTube, I'll be sure to update the blog post down below in the description. And if you're also interested in getting my wallpaper, a link for that is down below as well. If you enjoyed watching and you liked the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future if you like what you saw. If you want to help support the channel, you can head over to shop.iupdateos.com. Use code beta for 10% off your order. The new retro merch is up. For now, I've been Sam. I hope you're doing great, and I'll talk to you in my next video.